In the far northwest of Scotland, out in the Atlantic Ocean, lie the Outer Hebrides. I'm on the island of South Uist. Welcome to a little piece of heaven. really couldn't wish for a better base from which to explore South Uist and the neighbouring islands. The peace and tranquillity is only disturbed by the bird song and the distant humming of the sea. Just off the southern edge of South Uis is the beautiful island of Eriskay and until 2001 you had to go on a boat like this over treacherous waters. Luckily there's now a causeway. I've crossed the causeway and I'm now in a very blustery Eriskay. So why is Eriskay's pub called The Politician? Well, it's all down to whiskey. In 1941, the SS Politician, laden with thousands of crates of whiskey and bound for America, came aground just off the island. The incidents that followed, and the islanders rushed to get as much whiskey as possible, well, it was wartime, that became famous through Compton Mackenzie's book, Whiskey Galore, and the following film, and forever put Eriskay into Scottish modern folklore. This is Eriskay's Church of St Michael. Wherever you go on Eriskay or Uist, even on a sunny day like today, you're never far from the howling of the wind. I'm here on the west coast of Eriskay and not only is this one of the most beautiful beaches you can imagine, but it's also a very historic beach, because this is where, in 1745, Prince Charles Edward Stuart, also known as Bonnie Prince Charlie, landed and began the ill-fated attempt to retake the British throne on behalf of his father, James Stuart. From here, events unfolded that would change Scotland forever. This is where we resume the story of Bonnie Prince Charlie. After the catastrophic defeat of the Jacobites at Culloden, he escaped back to the Western Isles, but here he was hotly pursued by government forces and he had to try and escape again. To his rescue, 
came a young lady from South Uist, whose birthplace is just over my shoulder. Her name was Flora MacDonald, and they took a boat across the sea to Sky with Bonnie Prince Charlie disguised as her maid. I've come up to North Uist and specifically Loch Maddy, the main settlement, and there's a fantastic art centre here called Tai Kersabach, which also has a great cafe. But before I pop in there, there are sculptures to find. Time for a well-earned soup and coffee in North Uist's finest cafe. There are countless amazing beaches on the Outer Hebrides, but you have to go a long way to beat this one at Balachere on North Uist. If you like your beaches crowded with cafes and bars, then this may not be the right place for you. Do not leave North Uist without stopping at the Hebridean Smokehouse for the most exquisite smoked salmon and sea trout. So why is Eriskay's pub called The Politician? Well, the answer is all down to whisky and Eriskay's other historic claim to fame. Back in 1941, the SS politician, laden with whisky bound for America, came aground just off the island. It was wartime, there wasn't a lot of whisky around, and, well, what were the islanders going to do but try and salvage as much as they possibly can and keep it. Way!